All right, boys and girls. So today we're going to be installing this uh, driver for the Roland UA25 audio capture, which is right there. If you want to show them, I'm sure they know what it looks like. Yeah. Um, I don't have any screen capture software right now because I got to restart the computer. Also, my internal mic is garbage on this computer. So we are recording with the cell phone. Um, in order to get this installed, you're obviously going to need your device ua25 and you're going to need this driver here this is the latest driver that they had on their website which is for windows 8.1 now once you download that in order to be able to install it we're going to go over here type in cmd and you're going to go right click and run as administrator yes and we're going to type in a little command here so it's gonna be bcd edit dash set test signing on now as you can see I'm getting an error the reason I'm getting this error is protected by secure boot policy on some computers it will work on some it won't now in order to get rid of this and install the driver I'm gonna to have to restart go into the BIOS really quickly and turn off that secure boot and that will allow us to uh, go into test mode and in test mode for Windows 10 we'll be able to install the drivers that are not approved by Microsoft or that are not approved for Windows 10. Okay, give this stupid thing a second to restart. When Once it restarts you're going to press F2 at least on my laptop, this Dell laptop, you press F2 to get into the uh, BIOS settings. Okay, so once you see that screen, you hit F2. You're going to see that little bar at the bottom. It's going to take us into here. And what we're going to go from here is go down to Security Boot. Open up that bad boy. Go to where it says Security Boot Enable. It's enabled right now. What we want to do is disable it. Are we sure? Yep. Apply. Click OK. Okay, so once it restarts and we turn off our secure boot control, everything loads up. We're going to go here, type in CMD again. Sorry, type in CMD again. Go to the top, run as administrator. Go to yes. And now we're going to put in that code that I had before, which is bcd edit dash set test signing on boom operation completed successfully now we can close this restart laptop's going to be in test mode and we're going to be able to uh install our ua25 driver like we would have been able to on windows 8 or prior okay so now that we've restarted the laptop twice we're still in test mode we've turned off the secure boot and we did that test signature nonsense one thing i forgot to tell you is that we actually need a patcher and i will put a link in that where you guys can download it and it's a rolling driver patcher zip file open this bad boy up we're gonna go here sorry click to extract to desktop and now that it's over here, we're going to open that bad boy up, click yes, click select driver zip here. It's going to give you some please read that I'm not trying to read right now, but basically click no. And then what you want to find is duh, 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 where you've got the driver for UA25 saved. So I have it right here. Click there. It's a zip file and it's going to say all the extracted files will be stored at the desktop we can minimize this or close it oh, actually it opens up the file for us but anyways it was on the desktop so open it up over here and these are the patch files now what we're going to do is right click run as administrator go to yes click next Gives us that little warning over there. That's something might pop up. Yep, and it does. So we're going to put install this driver software anyways. And it's taking a good old while, as you can see. I'm 
Okay, so now we're going to plug in the device into our USB 2.0. And it should install, as you can see the lights come on there. And it says now finishing installation. And it's been installed. Like if you look here, it's got the two lights for the direct monitor and the USB. And um, if you even want to double check, we can go to like Camtasia, which I have a free trial version of. But it will still be able to see like the sound output and all that. Now, if I click here on the audio devices, you can see it says in UA25, which is the device we're using. The other one is microphone on my laptop, which is broken. And yeah, so as you can see, it's good to go. That's how you install the UA25 drivers on Windows 10. Enjoy.